This is the story of American Psycho. We see some people eating at a dinner table at a very fancy restaurant. They don't have a good bathroom to do coke in. But the only person at this table we care about is our main character, which is Patrick Bateman. My name is Patrick Bateman. I'm 27 years old. Then right after dinner, they head straight to a club, cause why not? While at the club, Bateman sees a pretty girl that he likes and tells her how much he loves her. You're a fucking ugly bitch. I wanna stab you to death. The next day rolls around and Bateman is telling us about his morning routine. In the shower, I use a water activated gel cleanser, then a honey almond body scrub. Then Bateman goes to his job and at his job, apparently he's important enough to have his own secretary. You look nice today. Don't wear that outfit again. Then we see Bateman in a car with a woman, which is his fiance apparently. Evelyn, my supposed fiance. And they are heading to a very nice dinner. And at that dinner is Bateman's fiance's boyfriend and Bateman's girlfriend and F Bateman's girlfriend's fiance there. A few days pass. Bateman decides to take his girlfriend out for dinner, but little did he know his girlfriend was extremely high on drugs. This is Dorothea? Yes, dear. The next day rolls around and Patrick is at work. And at work, a Patrick decides to show off his Pokemon cards. Then everyone else in the meeting room decides to show off their Pokemon card. Impressive. Very nice. But Patrick has a almost mental breakdown. Something wrong? Patrick? You're sweating. To take his anger out, he decides to kill a homeless man and his dog. He goes to a Christmas party and brings home a very drunk friend named Paul Allen to his apartment to where he kills him. The next day rolls around and Patrick is at work just vibing to music until the fucking Green Goblin himself comes to his work to talk to him about the disappearance of Paul Allen. Right after that, Patrick Bateman goes to a club, does some coke in a bathroom stall with a friend of his. Oh god, what? Fucking milligram of sweetener. The next day, Patrick goes to work with a hangover and decides to go on a date with his secretary. Do you like to accompany me to dinner? He takes his secretary to his home for some drink. Patrick decides to kill her, but ultimately decides not to because his fiance leaves a message. Then after being embarrassed by this, he's, he decides to have sex with two prostitutes and then kill those two prostitutes. Then the next day comes, and he breaks off his engagement with his fiance. It's over, Evelyn. It's all over. Then right after this, uh, Patrick goes on a killing spree for absolutely no reason. Good night, oil, Mr. Smith. Hey, now don't forget to sign in. Then he goes back to his office at his work and calls his lawyer and confesses everything that he has done. You're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. He meets with his lawyer at a bar, along with a few friends. He walks up to his lawyer and tells his lawyer about the message. His lawyer doesn't believe him, though. But that's simply not possible. Why not, you stupid bastard? After this, he goes straight back to his friends and basically reflects on everything that he has done, with his last words being, And I gain no deeper knowledge of myself. No new knowledge can be extracted from my telling. This confession has meant nothing. <laughs>